Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial about the KUKA Sunrise Toolbox. So in this tutorial, you are going to learn how to write your first program in order to control KUKA EWA from an external computer using the toolbox. So first of all, open MATLAB, then After downloading the Sunrise Toolbox from the GitHub repository, and zip the file, and then go to the MATLAB client folder. Open it. Right now, copy the path of this folder, and then go to MATLAB. Now, I have to change the working directory of MATLAB into the Toolbox MATLAB client folder. Now, so you type change directory and inside the quotation add the path of the MATLAB client folder, hit enter. Right now, you can use the different functionalities provided by the toolbox in order to control the robot from your a personal computer. Now the next step, I'm going to start the toolbox server on the robot controller. Now I have 6 seconds to connect. Now I'm going to uh, define a variable, I call it IB, and I give it the IP of my robot. Now, to get the IP of the robot, please refer to tutorial number one. I explain there how to get the IP of the robot. Now, then you have to establish a connection to the robot. To do so, I use the function net establish connection, and then you put the IP of the robot, and voila. Right now, we are connected to the robot. For example, to know uh, the, the current configuration of my robot, I can use the function get joint position. Then you have to give this function an argument and it is the TCVIB communication variable T and I get enter and then you see that my robot is in the home position basically it is uh, the joints are almost in the zero position all of them right now I'm gonna define a joints position destination where I want the robot to go to so I'm going to define a cell array, I'm going to call it gboz, and I'm going to give it the, dis the destination position. I need the first, the second, and the third joints destination position to be zero. Now with the fourth destination, I need to be minus by over two. Now the fifth joint destination, I want to be minus by over three. Now with the fifth zero, the sixth zero, and the seventh, let it be by over two. Now this destination was joints position where I want the robot to go. Now to instruct the robot to go to the destination position, you have to use the point-to-point -point motion functions of the toolbox. So you have to type move. BTB. You can press tab to see the list of functions that are provided. So move BTB joint space. And this function takes three arguments. The first is the TCB IP communication between the robot and the controller. The second is the destination position of the joints as a cell array 
And the third is the relative velocity as percent. Now I'm going to give it 0 0.8. And then I'm going to hit enter, and you can hear the sound of the robot moving. Now enter. You hear the sound of the robot moving. Now let me go to some uh, to the transport position of the robot. For example, I use to do this. I use uh, the function move BTP transport position and join space. Now also this function takes to to arguments. The first is the CBIB communication. The second argument is uh, the percentage of the relative velocity to which the robot is going to move. So I give 0.9. I hit enter and hear the sound of the robot moving. And uh, finally, to turn off the communication between the robot and the controller and to turn off the server on the controller, you have to use the function net turn off server. And you have to give the TCB ID communication object, then you hit enter, and you can notice that the, the, the server application on the robot controller has stopped. And this is, guys, how you can write your first uh, program to control the robot from MATLAB. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And uh, as you can see, it's very simple, very easy. And uh, that's it.